Welcome guys to a brand new video on weathering waves. Now, I already made a video going over why you should not be re-rolling. However, let's not kid ourselves. Farina over here is extremely strong. However, there's another character that I need to talk about and you guys need to know about so that when you get this character for free, you actually do decide to build her. So in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at two particular characters that are, in my opinion are very very important especially early on into the game you guys are starting the game you are going to need these units to help you guys progress as fast as possible and as easier as possible so let's go ahead and talk about both Verena as well as by Bai, Baizu by Bai, Bailey I'm going to butcher the character name I do apologize anyways let's get right into it don't forget to like and subscribe stay tuned for more content on weathering waves if you guys don't want to miss out on future content on the game make sure you are subscribed and make sure that post notification is on and help me out by clicking the like button let's go ahead and get 50 likes in today's video go ahead and show your show your support and let's get right into it so both Bailu or Baizu and Verena are healer type characters but they also provide you guys with little buffs as well now when it comes to Verena she is a five star character so it's going to be a lot harder to get her compared to Baizu especially because Baizu is actually given to you for free but with Verena over here obviously you guys have already seen a lot of videos going over this character and how strong she is she will help you guys early on early on into the game you guys will have terrible echoes which is your gear you're gonna have terrible control over your character you won't exactly know how to move your characters and stuff like that you just get in the hang of the game and you need a character that provides you guys with heals and good amount of buffs that will allow you to clear content with a little with, with ease basically she also protects you guys from dying once um where is the skill can't really find it right now but she, uh, there's a lot of text to read through but she basically provide and uh, protects you from dying once which is definitely going to be something you are going to need there you go she protects a party member from fatal damage and grants a shield equal to uh 120 of her attack and this last i oh, was sorry this can only be triggered every 10 minutes however this is very important because early on your character levels are going to be extremely low and you guys are just not going to be good enough to basically dodge every single attack and therefore having a character that protects you from fatal damage is going to be extremely important now Baizu actually does provide you with that as well but you need to get her duped up to be able to do that i believe it's the fifth dupe so her dupe five actually gives you that same um ability but i don't seem to i can't find it right now passive skills resonance change it's called like sequence or something like that i can't really find it over here if i go over to pride win over here and just actually see it um i'm not the only one who's tripping right now right hmm there you go can grant a team a cheat death after unlocking uh, s4 which is a sequence five sorry in the form of a fuel heal to the character that has suffered fatal damage so again very important she's given to you for free but of course that's when you get get her dupe up you get that ability as well but guys healers at the start of the game every single gacha game i've played healers do fall off later on because then the game turns into do as much damage as possible but early on into the game healers are one of the most important characters because they just help you guys cheese content basically especially with this game like there's there's no time limit as long as you're able to beat the they beat the enemy you should be fine just heal with this character when you require it and that's essentially how you will play through this game Verena and Baizu are the two most important characters in this game early on now of course you need to have your damage dealers to also help those characters uh do you know so just cheese or slash away at the boss's h um hp but Having a healer is definitely a must-have. And since they give you this character for free, you guys are chilling. You should definitely build her. Now, eventually, you are going to start building different teams. So, team setup in this game, I believe it's three characters. So, you usually have one attacker, your main attacker, one support character, and then... What is it? I forgot what it's called. Um, I forgot what they overcall the call the other characters. Just another character to help your team. Um, so usually when you want to build three different teams, having a healer in some of your teams are gonna be very, very helpful. In two of your teams, if you have Verena, you can put Verena on one of your team. Verena will be in your main team, guys. Verena with another character that will be your main team. And in your second team, you can have Baizu or Bai Baizu as well. 
now initially if you don't have Verena at the start that is fine you can still build up Vizu you still will not regret building her because eventually when you get by Verena you're still gonna need Vizu maybe not 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 now but eventually when you're trying to clear the tower of um, what do I call it tower adversary adversary you're gonna need multiple teams and uh, she's going to be one of the go-to the go um, healers you could use in that team as well. Now I'm going to talk about the other characters that you should go for later on. But um, the main important part of Arena, Arena, if you take a look at this, she has a strong team wild eel. And she also provides you guys with a buff. And she has one of the best outros in the game, granting every unit 15% damage to deepen. Now the outro is basically what happens when you you know get the character out the field so you give your the next character um a buff basically can effortlessly effortlessly damn enable the um healer set bonus without sacrificing her weapon choice uh betty takes any on field time so people don't like this character because it kind of feels like genshin impact where genshin impact you're basically quick swapping and in this game, in Weathering Waves, that doesn't, that's not how you're meant to play the game. You're meant to stay on field with one particular character and the quick swap method doesn't really benefit you much or there's no much character that actually do like abilities like that. But Verena does. She basically just stays on field with the least amount of time and she provides you with amazing, amazing buff. And especially that cheat death mechanic will come in very handy, especially when you are early on. Now, one thing I, <laughs> I wanted to talk about this as well. Yes, her design sucks. I'm not gonna lie, most of the standard banner characters, they design are actually not that great. Like this is ass, ass, yeah, ass. She's she's waifu. Of course she's waifu. Okay, so when it comes to Verena and the way you want to build her, if we go over to this, go over to build over here. Now we have this four-star weapon, the variation. So for every resin skill used, recovers or restores eight Castro energy can be triggered once every 20 seconds. That's going to be very helpful. Again, this is a support weapon, but she's, since she's a support character, that's going to be very, very helpful. Now, when it comes to the Echo set that is very good for her, it is going to be this, the Bellborn. Um, it's basically the turtle. Is there where I can just open this? It's going to be really scuffed, isn't it? It's the turtle, basically. Um, let's see if I can actually search this up so you can see it properly. But um, this basically activates the protection of the Bellborn. Um, there we go. Cost causing damage and obtain the Bellborn shield. The shield provides the current character with 50% damage reduction and a 10% damage increase and dis disappears after three attacks. This is very helpful. Very, very helpful. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Let's take a look at by by z or by z whatever her name is so again it's the same thing again like when you get this character for free you can build her you will not regret building this character yes even if you get verena because the same exact stuff you need for her you need for verena as well when it comes to the weapons and the same echoes as well so that's actually really really beneficial for her um so like when you get Verena, you want to start switching buys you out. You don't want to use her anymore. You can just get all of that stuff and just give it to Verena, and that is fine. So I love those two characters, and absolutely, I'm aiming to get Verena. But of course, I already made a video talking about why you should not re-roll. But at the end of the day, there's two particular characters I really want to get: Verena, as well as of course our boy Jin Yang over here, which I will make a separate video on as well. But anyways, hopefully you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more content on Weathering Waves. Don't forget to show your support by liking the video. It's been your boy AC Gamer, and I'm out.